Cows winning the toss. They can elect which end they wish to run from and they will receive the football. Queensland will kick off. I wouldn't be surprised to see New South Wales put it back very early in the tackle count. They picked a highly defensive forward pack with Bruce Maguire, Gillespie, Roberts, Elias and Roach. There's Elias geeing up his players. There'll be plenty of fire early. I don't think a lot of illegalities. I think we've seen the uh, end of that sort of uh, state. New South Wales certainly fired up. By the way, too, tonight, let's welcome our viewers through DDQ uh, up there in Toowoomba, MBQ, SEQ, RTQ and QTV in Townsville. In other words, we're going right through our Queensland tonight. And uh, there's Ian Roberts. Uh, he's one of the men that uh, will play quite a part of this match tonight. He sure will, Bill. One of the key players. There's one of the debutantes in Ricky Walford. But Roberts, I think, is one of the key players. Another debutant on the wing in Rod Wishart. Getting back to Roberts, I think he's the key forward. Very hard to knock over. And there's the Queensland dressing room. Wally Lewis walks out in his civvies. And there's Toss turn of the manager. And led out by Paul Vorton the second time that he's led the Maroons. The last time was when Wally was injured uh, back in 1988. Following him is Mal Meninga. Fatty Vorton leading this side out on his new home ground, Eastern Suburbs home ground, the Sydney Football Stadium. And he's only missed four matches, and the four matches that he has missed, Queensland uh, lost those, so his record is pretty much intact. Some uh, dispute of whether Vorton or Mal Meninga should have been captain in the absence of Wally Lewis. I agree with Vorton's uh, selection here, but one thing for sure and certain, Vorton must go flat out all the way, if necessary, if he has to be replaced, he gets a bit tired. There's some great backup there with Gary Coyne and Trevor Gilmeister. Billy, no need to say that we are playing this match at the Sydney Football Stadium by that welcome for the Queenslanders onto the ground. Yeah, there's no risk about that. And talking about key men in the match tonight, there's one of them on centre screen right now, Big Mal Meninga. He is the key man for Queensland. He's the guy, no matter what defensive patterns they might want to set up, if Mal decides to go, three and four won't stop him. There's little Alfie Langer against the folks of the Brisbane Broncos will be keeping an eye on him tonight. I'm sure the New South Wales team will be. And there's the total appearances now uh, in the team so far as State of Origin is, con is concerned. So experience from a Queensland point of view really outweighing New South Wales there. And Billy, the sole survivor from 1980 in appearance tonight is that man, Big Mal Meninga. What a key player he'll be tonight. He's the leading point scorer in Origin history with 127 points. And uh, we're waiting now for the national anthem here at the Sydney Football Stadium. It's a big moment for another Queenslander. I talk to the referee, David Manson. Queensland to clinch the series. Yes, fantastic effort. Manson will be under pressure tonight. There's no doubt about that. The New South Wales players will try and test him out. And fittingly, the man to kick the ball into the new era of origin football is the man that was there on day one back in 1980, Mal Meninga. It will be New South Wales to defend the southern end of the Sydney Football Stadium. And straight away, Andrew Enninghouse and Finch Roberts. And up there is Paul Horton. Going into dummy half is Ben Elias. Tremendous play by Bradley Clyde to take play beyond the quarter line. Elias working open side. Big Roaches well met by Fullerton Smith, Langer and Linda. Three plays gone by the Blues. Instill inside the corner. They can't afford to take their eyes off this man. Elias, a beautiful ball. 
but the defensive shear is there. Langer came in for the second tackle. The ball's gone forward, so the good break has been let down by New South Wales. You cannot take your eye off him, David. Yeah, and Alan Langer was the one who did take his eye off him, thinking the kick was on. He went through to try and harass the kicker. Elias was away. Scrum feed by New South Wales on the halfway line. A big drive by Queensland. It's a New South. It's a Queensland ball from Hagen. It goes out to Beninga, and the big man tried to stand in the tackle. But up there quickly with Mark McGaw, working again towards that short side. Swarming defence by uh, New South Wales. Right on the halfway line. No quarter given in this. Referee Manson keeping a good five on each side of the ruck. Langer, it goes out to Hagen, the good cutout pass. Belcher's in the line, taken strongly in the tackle. Tremendous defence by New South Wales in the early minutes of this game. Now they move it to Bella, that's his first touch. And the big manly prop forward puts his head down. Final tackle in this first set of six for Queensland. This is an important aspect of the game. And Ninga has been taken out late. And he pointed his finger at Elias said, you do that again and it's on, mate. Well, the first bit of anger has been shown. And the game is just two minutes old. And might I add, David, he's not the man to do it to. No, I think he's a very brave man, Benny Elias. Interesting so far, the game has been very open. Both sides prepared to throw the ball around. And as I mentioned, speaking to David Manson before the game, no special instructions, David, to the two captains. Benny Elias uh, asked, was there any special instructions? He said no. Paul Vorton's question was uh, how he was going to referee the scrums with infringements. Well, I think both uh, teams know exactly how it should be done. They're, both, they're the best players in the world and the referee shouldn't need to lecture them. Now it's taken away by Les Kiss. Back in representative football after a four-year break. Belcher got the pass away, taken upfield this time by Meninga. And the crowd love that. The big fellow is wrapped up in the four-man tackle by uh, New South Wales. There's Walters out of dummy half. David, I think the uh, crowd here love anything that happens out there at the moment. Porter, yes, I agree. There's the good break. Tremendous play by Hagen. Turning it back to Fullerton Smith, but coming across in defence was Gillespie. That's Vaughton the dummy half. They move it to Langer. Queensland on the attack, 25 metres out from the New South Wales line. Let's see what the tactics will be on the final tackle. Debutant Steve Walters to dummy half. It'll go high in the air. Vaughton was the man that put it up. Lindner took it, but he he's been side. ruled offside. Correct decision. Actually, it was a poor kick by Queensland. Vorton put the kick up. Lindner was always in front of him, and Vorton made no attempt at all to come through and put his players on side. There's uh, Bobby Lindner well in front of the kicker. He does take it well, but at no stage was he behind the kicker, and New South Wales get a relieving penalty. So it's Andrew Winninghouse at night in that fullback role, playing in his eighth game in Origin football. Six is a winger, one is a centre. And he made his debut, Dave, in that uh, last win by New South Wales in 1987. So wins have been few and far between for the, uh, the Cronulla superstar. Yes, he's an electrifying ball runner in Queensland. When they do get to kick downfield, uh, to Eddinghausen, who's playing fullback tonight, will need to have some good chases. There's the run by Roberts. His big strength is to stand and unload, and that's exactly what he's done. The pass goes back from Daly to McGaw. And there's some savage defence out there on both teams. And going low that time was Walters. Now the run by Roach and Lindner wraps him up with Bella. Fullerton Smith was low and affected the tackle. Now the crisscross move, Elias again out of dummy half. That time the Queensland defence read it. Just inside their own half in New South Wales. And Ricky Stewart will play such a vital role in that kicking game tonight. That's an excellent kick. Les Kiss allows it to bounce, picks it up nicely. He's 32 out from his own goal line. Second kick in a row to go to Les Kiss. Maybe they sense uh, he could be a bit nervous, David, after a four-year break in Origin football. It's been good pressure, though, on Ricky Stewart. He hasn't been able to get a clean kick away. Quite interesting, the original plan that Ricky Walford was to mark Alan McIndoe, but I noticed, Billy, that that situation has been changed. Yes, uh, at this stage it's Les Kiss out there, and that'll be an interesting tussle in itself. But I thought if McIndoe had a mark, he would have made it a little bit more interesting. Walters gives it away to Lidner. Then to Fulton Smith. Oh, that's great defence. So being the charge for uh, Gillespie. Big hits. They call him Cement, and I think he would have felt the full brunt of that. There's the big kick downfield, retreating his heading house, and he fielded it beautifully, and that will be great for his confidence. It A will. good chase there by Queensland. Perfect chase. They had four men coming up in the two halves. So important. Both Hagen and Langer do the chasing. Langer out of dummy of the market position, wraps up Wishart. Queens, uh, New South Wales under pressure in their own quarter. Oh, what a good bit of defence by... Uh, 
Staines coming across on uh, Michael O'Connor. Play inside the quarter. We've had just on five and a half minutes of the first half. Roach taken high that time by Martin Bella. Well, sitting in the grandstand doing it tough is Wally Lewis. Wally, your thoughts on the first five minutes? Well, it's obviously been a helter skelter the, the first couple of minutes there, David. I, neither side's uh, giving uh, an inch. I've been fairly impressed with that last uh, set of six tackles by Queensland. It, it really gave us a little bit of confidence here. Alan Langer uh, had a perfect chasing game. We had a, a very good chasing line down there, and we managed to contain them for four tackles, and they only made about eight or ten metres. That's what we're really looking for at the moment, to pin them as deeply in their half as we possibly can. But as the game's only early at the moment, we've just got to hope that... Uh, we can contain New South Wales, keep them down there and also control the football ourselves and we're in possession. OK, enjoy it. We'll be back for you later in the match. Wally Lewis joining us in the stand alongside coach Arthur Beetson. And they'll do it as tough as they will out on the field tonight for the players, David. They will, uh, for it will almost be harder for Wally Lewis. But so far, Queensland have had territorial advantage. Basically, the game has been played in New South Wales half. They'll enjoy that as long as they can keep New South Wales inside their own territory. Well, one of our main concerns was the kicking game of Queensland, but so far it's been in pretty good order. It has. The New South Wales are trying to attack the kicks, but Queensland varying kickers. Uh, Meninga's taken a couple, and also uh, they put pressure on both Elias and Stewart. Now Benny Elias tries to work across that side. Seven minutes gone in this first half. And the crowd still haven't got back in their chairs. It's been a constant pitch all the way through as the ball is popped out by Maguire. A long pass from Stewart. It goes to Daly. And Daly tries to break through the first line of defence. But he was wrapped up very well by Hagen. Good work by Hagen. Now taking it away is Michael O'Connor. Beautiful ball. There's Bradley Clyde. Pull back to beat his Canberra teammate. It goes back. Forward pass, was it? And the referee... Denies Ricky Walford a try on Dabu. He was right on the spot to award it. Good refereeing by the Queenslander. Perfect stuff. Here's Gillespie looking for support. He finds Walford. What a break from Bradley Clyde off a, off a Michael O'Connor pass. Queensland a bit thin in midfield. Well, the scrum will pack down inside the quarter. Queensland suck in the big breaths. They were under pressure. And New South Wales denied by a forward pass. Now Belcher got the pass away to Shearer. And he was well and truly wrapped up by McGaw. Frantic pace, the first nine minutes of this opening match of the 1990 season. Just here for the Queensland forward pack. Can they go forward in this area of the ground? So important. Ben Staines hit it up on tackle number three. Now it's Martin Bella. He's got a huge responsibility in that regard tonight. Steve Waters on to boot tonight, taking over for his brother Karen. Spotted the gap but not quite the pace of Benny Elias. Here's the final tackle. Will it go to Meninga? Will it go to Belcher? Oh, that's a bad mistake. So the position will turn over to New South Wales, and they are in an ideal attacking position. A messy play of the ball. That's Roberts who will play it now to Elias. Now it will go to Stewart, the long pass to Daly. Daly to Bradley Klein. He's going to do a lot of damage out wide. Reminiscent of Gene Miles, David. Uh, he's devastating Bradley Clyde, and uh, he's got all the skills, Queensland. They're going to have to watch him very closely. Well, the man to watch in this set now is Ricky Stewart, but the penalty will go against the team in possession, not, and the crowd don't like it. Not getting up to play the ball correctly. Bradley Clyde was being held down. Michael Hagen it was, who was uh, the tackler, and uh, I should say uh, Laurie Daly was held down as he tried quickly to get to his feet. He wasn't able to do so. David Manson saw it as an incorrect play the ball. You must get to your feet, stand up and play the ball. He has not endeared himself to the New South Wales crowd. A relieving penalty for Queensland. Well, certainly is a big home crowd advantage here tonight. 40-odd thousand on standby for this match tonight. But their record in Sydney, Queensland, has been excellent. They've won six of the nine since 1982. And Billy, the two appearances here at the Sydney Football Stadium have seen success go to uh, Queensland. Ten minutes scored in this first half. We've still got a cracker of a match on our hands here tonight. Certainly have, but as I was saying a short time ago, some big hits coming in, and there's another one on that occasion. Here it is again, Bill. Staines, Roberts hits him with everything by the kitchen sink. They stop dead in their tracks. So it's Queensland about eight metres inside New South Wales territory. Away to Fullerton Smith. He gets to the ten-metre mark before the defence will wrap him up. Dummy half Walters to Langer. Alfie with a little grabber kick, he's following out after it, he takes it on the toe, he got to push away a little bit I feel on that occasion, referee Manson says play on, New South Wales come away with it and end up midway between the quarter and halfway by the hands of Andrew Eddinghouse, and this is Walford, 10 metres short of the half 
halfway mark, Vincent out on the left there. So Elias gets it away, cutting up there is Roach. Roach with a getting a knocked out with a nice tackle there. Steve Waters slowly getting back onto his feet. Looking around for support, there's plenty of it too. Coming through over there was uh, Roberts. He sends a pass outside. O'Connor gonna get it back inside to wish he can, but he's lost the ball. Gonna be picked up by Queensland. Can they run it out? Yes, they can. New South Wales, there's Wally Lewis and also Artie Beats, and they'd be very, very concerned at the moment. Here's the pass back on the inside, Michael O'Connor. Wishart got tackled as he tried to handle the ball, lost it forward. Good work from Bob Linder, takes it inside his own in goal area and does well to bring it out. So work they've got to do, that's Michael Hagan taking it up. Well, Paul, what they've got to do is the hard work. I think Queensland are a little bit prone to be a bit fancy early. New South Wales have got the upper hand at the moment. There's no substitute for hard work. Martin Bella gets it up almost to the quarter line. Alan Langer drops in as the dummy half as well as it's taking a little bit of time to get himself together. So that'll be Staines taking it up again. So now a kick downfield by Meninga. Back there is Andrew Eddinghausen. It bounces up nicely for him eventually. Plenty of Barones up there to take care of him. And down he goes. Nice tackle by Linda. Warford is the dummy half and it's going to be a penalty New South Wales. Going on a little bit too much with the tackle there, Les Kiss, and New South Wales after a good kick downfield. Eddinghausen was, uh, had his legs cut from underneath him by Bobby Lindner and a relieving penalty for New South Wales. They're going to take a bit of a breather. The game has been played at a really hectic pace. New South Wales are undoubtedly with the advantage at the moment. No points on the board as yet here at the Sydney Football Stadium. And there's the kick for touch by Eddinghausen. It will come up to 15 metres short of the halfway mark. Penalties favoured New South Wales by 2-1. to one. Elias from the tap. Doubling around over there is Walford. Walford going to be knocked over. Tony Durkin touchline. Steve Walters, the report from the bench on Steve Walters is that he's just a little groggy. I'm sure a few players will be before the night's out. Walters OK to keep going. Ricky Stewart gets up to play it now. They swing it away. And that's Laurie Daly. New South Wales using a lot of cross runners at the back of the ruck to try and confuse the, the, the Queensland defenders. Wishart comes up as dummy half. And New South Wales get it to the halfway mark or just inside Elias. Trying to work it across field. They don't get too far. Eventually going to ground with it that time will be Bruce McGuire. Final tackle. Up she goes by Ricky Stewart. Back there is Gary Belcher waiting for it. It's moving around a little bit but he takes it. And can't get away from Bradley Clark who knocks him over. Well taken by Belcher, showed good technique. Look how he just puts the body to the side, protects the ball, makes sure McGaw can't get at it, and uh, does it neatly. Yeah, he uh, went up pretty high too, because Stewart can put him up very, very high, and really test out those fullbacks. Will be the work rate of the two second rowers for New South Wales, Maguire and Gillespie in defence has been outstanding. Here's Alan Langer with it. They keep it going, but that New South Wales defence just gnawing away, and they're finding it very difficult to get out, out of that uh, 22 metre side of the field. This is Martin Bella. He does a little bit better on that occasion, Bella. Walters from dummy half, swings it away to Meninga, out to Belcher this time. He'll drive it down between Eddinghausen and Wishart. It rolls back over the quarter line. Eddinghausen back there, there's plenty of chases. Wishart will be the one to take it. And Wishart is put down just on the quarter line. Well, that's more like it, David. Good kick, good chase. They took a double play to get the kick away and uh, good effort from Belcher to put it downfield. Well, they're obviously going to use Meninga at times, but on that occasion, swung it away over there to Belcher. Crowd starting to rev up. They're looking for a penalty here. Benny Elias with it. They keep it going. Nice work. Roach coming up the centre. He unloads it to Elias, doubling around again. There's a bit of problems coming up if they get it wide. Daly swings it away this time, cutting his way through over there. This time is O'Connor. O'Connor to Wolf, and he kicks through. Following it after it. And Les gets back there in the in goal area. It will be a penalty. Correct decision. Ricky Walford was taken out of play after he put the kick in. Gary Belcher, I think it was. Meninga couldn't get across and cover defence. Beautiful little kick this from Walford. The ball does sit in the in goal area. And Belcher decided that he was not going to allow Ricky Walford past him. A professional penalty, perhaps in the Sydney Rugby League, could have incurred a five minute stint in the sin bin. But a penalty will suffice in David Manson's uh, judgment. And. Michael O'Connor, it would appear, will have a shot for two points. So now we, there's a shot of a huge crowd here at the Sydney Football Stadium tonight. They've had plenty to cheer about. This New South Wales side have uh, really put their shoulder to the wheel tonight, first up. New South Wales second rowers have got through 15 tackles already in this match. 
Look at the angle that Michael O'Connor's going to take this kick, Bill. Is he going to kick for goal or is he going to put it across the face of goal? Well, he's got a bit of each way here, Fordo. It's a Jack Gibson tactic that they've used in the past uh, when he used to coach uh, Cronulla. Now, all the players are well out on the open side there. If he gets it through the goal, it's two points. I think Queensland have stacked too much in front of Michael O'Connor. They have not got enough players on the far side for mine. There it goes. He kicks for goal. He hasn't stuck it through, but they're flying through. It's going to be Queensland caught in the end goal area, but took it on the full. No. There was a bit of two players touched it, which you cannot be offside in your own in goal area. Have a look at it here. The ball bounces forward. There's Shearer catching the ball. Cannot be offside in your own in goal area. The crowd was calling for a penalty. No chance. But it's Queensland with a drop out from underneath the goal now. So the pressure remains. Well and truly on for Queensland. Drop it out again. You just wonder whether you put that down as a missed goal to Michael O'Connor, Bill, or whether that was a set play. Yeah, well, it, it certainly looked that way, didn't it? That's Bradley Clyde with it. Elias from dummy half. Eddinghausen involving himself, and Alan Langer is the tackler. Elias again, that's Roach. And uh, it was Alfie underneath again, back to Elias. Almost a gap, but Bellows there. The pass goes back behind Eddinghausen, going to be dived on by Staines. It's a Maroon's ball, and by golly, they needed it. Langer caught it quickly, wants to move it straight away. And that's Fatty Morton out wide with him, and he cuts back inside. Putting a defence over there to take him on. Dummy half is Walters. Nil all the score. Fullerton and Smith. Knocked over. 30 metres out from the Queensland line. To Alan Langer. Belcher into it now. Belcher trying to find a way around, but no, no chance. Tackler over there is Ricky Stewart. Kiss from dummy half. No chance. Put down by Gillespie. Final tackle, so back to Meninga. Chased out over there by Elias. He did some good work and put him off the kick. Eddinghausen's back there, allows it to run past him. Now he picks it up. He starts to move, but Michael Hagen will be the tackler. There's Wally Lewis and Arthur Beetson. They'd be pretty concerned, I'd imagine, at this stage. But a long, long way to go. That's Wishart. Bang, in goes Bobby Lindner. Lindner puts him over. 30 metres out for the New South Wales line. A fair bit of kicking going on at this stage. Queensland, seven occasions. New South Wales, four. But Queensland struggled on the last one when Elias persisted in coming at Melbourne Inger. And that's uh, be their ploy, I'd guess. It will, Bill. And Queensland need to up their tempo a bit in defence. They're allowing New South Wales too much latitude. We've seen it. There's uh, Elias flipping across field again. But eventually put down by Dale Shearer over the top and coming in underneath is Walters. Now let's have a look at this. Laurie Daly's going to be the kicker this time. Back there is Gary Belcher. He runs on to it up over the quarter line. A cross field to try and get away from Laurie Daly who kicked it, followed through and he did the job, put him down. There's Kiss away from Dummy Hart. This is Hagen. Molly Lewis and Arthur Beetson up there. Having a chat to uh, Sydney. Queensland moving it to 10 metres short of that halfway mark. So it's 18 and a half minutes of the match gone so far. This is Meninga, he sends it right over the top. So far away, it goes into touch. Queensland definitely being frustrated. The opportunity was there, but Meninga looking for the pass that uh, was not executed at all well. There's the brains trust of the Queensland team, and they would be very concerned at the moment. New South Wales have the upper hand. So now into the scrum. Tony Durkin, I think they showed Wally on the screen here and he got a boo without him being on the field, didn't he? Yes, he got the typical Wally, Wally Lewis reception in Sydney. The big boos went up for Walter. Well, at least he didn't pay to get in like some of them, I guess. <laughs> in by Stewart to Daly. Look at Eddinghausen lurking up there and also going through. Uh, on it goes to Wishart. McGaw ran running, went through on that occasion over there also to take away the attention from Eddinghausen. Wishart about eight metres inside Queensland Territory. That's Laurie Daly, but he's going to be wrapped up. Elias is the dummy half. Eventually turns it away, going around over there that time. Was he in Roberts? Elias, they'll work the blind side. And Roach coming through, but he's bowled over 25 metres out. New South Wales keep him up the pressure. So at this stage, we're halfway through the first half and there are no points on the ball. But New South Wales in a great effort to attack here. Beautiful defence by Meninga and O'Connor. Now Daly goes to dummy half. It's on the final tackle. And it's been knocked, it's been touched inside. They're all onside. A chance for New South Wales. Clyde, beautiful pass for Elias. And he's a metre short. Six tackles to go for New South Wales. Queensland in desperate defence. Clyde, beautiful cutout pass. Heading Housens. 
takes it and take it into touch. Desperate defence by Dale Shearer, the second big hit on Eddinghausen in the space of a minute. It's hard to see how Queensland saved the day there. Perhaps that pass that went to ground was the saving grace. Eddinghausen couldn't handle. Dale Shearer shoved him into touch. Absolute desperation. New South Wales have bombed a couple of tries. I called it a good pass initially from Clyde because I thought the idea was good, but there was really no need to have the numbers on the outside, David. You're right, Porto. There was an indication of pack weights there. Queensland have a heavier pack than New South Wales, but they're not exploiting the advantage. Now Lindner, 11 metres out from his own goal line, and Queensland have been under enormous pressure. But they have weathered it. Scoring opportunities gone astray for Eddinghausen, Wishart, Ricky Walford. Now the long pass. Good defence by New South Wales. That's forced the error, but it's allowed them to attack out wide. Paul Vorton got the pass away to the flying McIndoe, and he did beautifully to hang on to it. McIndoe gets to play the ball. Oh, there's the knock on and dummy half. Second time Queensland have made a bad error from the dummy half position. Just trying to rush, rush things a little bit. Dale Shearer, the offender there, moving out of the dummy half position, not concentrating, and this is allowing New South Wales to keep the pressure on. Tony Durkin. Poise from Queensland tonight, David. One of the poise from Queensland tonight was for quick play of the ball. Maybe they're executing it a little too quickly for the dummy half. It could well be. New South Wales now with Daly running across field. The long pass for Ricky Walford. Walford with the kick and chase. He's got great ability in this part of his game. But Queensland saved the day again with Gary Belcher. Another tactic noticeable from New South Wales is the width that Laurie Daly is standing away from Ricky Stewart. He's got one of the best passes in the game, Ricky Stewart, and Jack is utilising that to get a great deal of width in attack. Well, it's an important year for Stewart with the Kangaroo Tour at the end of the year. It's going to be a marvellous battle with he and Alan Langer in this series. It's happened again. A little knock-on at the dummy half. Queensland three times. This is just handing it on a plate to New South Wales. And when I say that, it's the pressure. Not to be too much wrong with it in replay. Well, I don't know what that was all about. That appeared to be quite okay, but it's given loose head and feed to New South Wales. Inside, look how deep they are in attack. It'll go to Stewart. The wide pass again to Daly. Daly tries to straight, but then he runs across field and got it back infield. And O'Connor was beautifully picked off at the tackle by Belcher. New South Wales centre field on the quarter line. Stewart got the pass away to Clyde. The two Canberra teammates combining to take play across that 22-yard line. Elias calling the troops to run onto this football inside the attacking quarter. Now big blocker Rage takes it upfield. But the uh, Queensland defence is equal to the task. Turning it over now to Dummy Elias. There he goes again. It's back for Eddinghausen. And meeting him in the defence was Paul Borton. Great tackle. Elias has been really involved. Stewart the pass out to Bradley Clyde. And another good bit of defence this time from Dan Staines. Wasn't know it was Fullerton Smith. They move it to Stewart. There's the high ball on his Canberra teammate Gary Belcher but it comes across field picked up by Walford, Langer gets there to meet him and that should be the turnover of possession once again Queensland weathered the storm and they've taken play outside the quarter well we've had uh, 24 minutes in the match so far four day Queensland have been disadvantaged there's another error at the play the ball David Manson adjudicating there that it was simply lost by Queensland and not stolen by New South Wales. And once again, the New South Welshman with another good chance to go straight on the attack. Well, they've just put pressure right back on themselves. And the big question mark is, can New South Wales now turn that pressure into points? Stewart again. Look at the length of that pass back for Eddinghausen. A variation from the scrum base on that occasion. 14 errors to four. Queensland have been guilty of in this first half. And it's so unlike them. And what it does too, Porter, all this defence saps your strength. So Queensland are going to have to call on all the reserves. Although, on the other hand, David, if New South Wales can't turn it into points, it can really take the wind out of their sails as well. It certainly can be frustrating. Now Elias works the blind side with Roach, but it's constant pressure. Wishart, oh, exactly. tremendous defence by McIndoe. And Bruce Maguire down injured in back play. And the hit penalty. Well, for taking Wishart into touch after the tackle had been affected, it was a good tackle, that one, from McIndoe. And there's the second shove, also that's assisted by Shearer. Another chance for New South Wales. That's silly stuff. Maguire down getting attention. And he's injured the back. Elias just knocks it into touch, but uh, he sucks the big breaths in, Bruce Maguire. And now, once again, Queensland are forced to defend. Stewart, a beautiful little play again with Elias. They are the two danger men around the edge of the ruck. Don't take your eye off him or Stewart all night. 
Queensland defence working overtime. Penalty. Tony Durkin on the sideline. You saw it. Yes, yeah, certainly. Uh, Steve Rapes, the player at ball, he, he obviously thought he got one in a tackle. He retaliated right in front of referee David Manson. What a stupid thing to do. New South Wales in possession and Roach has given away a penalty. Well, you can see there on the replay that Roach was definitely the offender. Morton was the one who retaliated. There's the missed tackles. Queensland a massive nine to New South Wales. Nil, but certainly New South Wales have had the majority of possession. But 26 minutes of play gone in the first half and New South Wales have yet to turn all that pressure into points. Queensland hanging on by the skin of their teeth at the moment. After a very bright start, there's another loss of possession. And New South Wales back with the football through the hands of David Gillespie. That five metres inside, Queensland's end of the ground. The long pass again. Stewart was cut out there. Oh, that's a dreadful pass from Stewart. That was an absolute shock at trying to pass on the wrong side. Yeah, I even think he tried to flick it. Let's have a look as he fades across field. Thought about flicking, had the ball out in front, lost it. But Queensland have lost it again. So New South Wales come back with the ball inside their own half. Daly a dummy half. Got it away this time to Maguire, who's back on his feet after that injury. Elias calling for it now on the centre of the halfway line. Queensland move up very quickly in defence. And they move up on Roberts and take him ball and all. No points on the board. 27 minutes of play gone in this first half. The pass back in for Gillespie. Elias. Midway between the half and the 22. It's a Queensland head to the ground. The Canberra halves of Stewart and Daly combined beautifully. Daly in the space. The pass out this time. O'Connor. That oh. pass is forward. <laughs> so they've bombed another one. Well, Queensland haven't played to the whistle either. But uh, there's a great relief. Wally Lewis and uh, Marty Beetson cannot believe it. Daly shows his pace. Michael O'Connor threw this ball forward. The player was in an offside position for mine. Should never have been only a forward pass. Should have been a penalty to Queensland. So the scrum will pack down 10 metres out. Alan Langer sucks in the deep breaths. They've been under enormous pressure, the Maroons. Now Les Kiss comes in off the right wing. And the big question here, David, is can they hold him for the six tackles? Well, he's burst up Bill to take it to the quarter line. The handling errors, surprisingly, Queensland, the culprits by just one. Well, New South Wales, obviously, with all the possession that they've had, have uh, given away some key uh, handling errors. Queensland haven't held the ball for long. New South Wales have held it for longer, but ultimately have frittled away at least four try-scoring opportunities. Yes, uh, Four that I can recall right off the top of my head. And that last one from a forward pass, just unbelievable stuff. So I suppose, David, it comes down to what this pressure of origin football is all about. That is really telling on these players. Remembering that New South Wales are fielding four new players out there tonight. And, uh, of course, Queensland, the underdogs. Yeah, touch in flight. Two players down injured. Eddinghausen runs sideways, pushed out by Shearer. And Wishart links up with him. All the players back on their feet. Wally Lewis and beats it again. Look on, it's been a tense 29 minutes for both sides. And territorially, it's been enjoyed by New South Wales, although it was a very confident start by the Maroons in the first 10 minutes. Well, Billy, I don't know how this crowd keeps going. It hasn't stopped the noise here at the Sydney Football Stadium for 30 minutes. Well, I've waited a long time to have something to cheer about. Here goes Daly. Got the pass away to McGaw. That pass was forward again. It's back for Eddinghausen. He got the pass away beautifully. Elias. The pass over the top. Ricky Walford tried to stand up the defence. Got it away. That's a try to New South Wales. Beautiful pass. And I think it's McGaw. The crowd goes berserk. And Mark McGaw opens the scoring. They had to Watch wait it in replay. They had to wait for a long time. Finally, Laurie Daly once again does well to get his hands on the outside. Have a look at this. Just in beside the defence. I thought Gordon had done well to get to McGaw. Now McGaw was tackled there. Actually gets up to uh, to score this try. Eddinghausen bounces out of one tackle. Good pass up to Elias. Ricky Walford then has to uh, receive the ball and beat Alan Langer. He then gets caught from behind. There's Belcher, but great pass up. Brilliant hands, McGaw. He bounces across the try line. No semblance.
chance of a double movement. From the corner camera, this will look great. Here's Laurie Daly, takes on the defence, creates the opening for uh, Mark McGaw. Back on the inside, Eddinghausen. Langer goes high and can't make the tackle. There's the follow-up one, though, by Les Kiss. All but always backing up is Benny Elias. The over-the-top pass. Ricky Walford gets away from Alan Langer, but not from uh, Belcher, who came late. There's the uh, bouncing try. New South Wales finally get a reward. 4-0 to New South Wales. Seven all, right? Others getting up towards the quarter line. Queensland fighting back but losing the ball again. Elias breaking away with it. Langer goes at him. They keep it going. This is Stewart. He sends it outside. Waiting and weaving and dodging over there. But the defence coming in. And that was Laurie Daly going over in it. There's the replay of the uh, conversion of the try. A great kick from Michael O'Connor. Knocked it over from the sideline. New South Wales lead by six points to nil. So adding now for the play the ball. Daly is the player, Laurie Daly, the one down injured, and couldn't play the ball, so the play went on from there. Missed yep. tackles are a telling statistic, Bill. 11 by Queensland and only one by New South Wales. Round the corner beautifully, New South Wales on the muscle again. Going to ground with it up there is Bruce McGuire. But apparently New South Wales. Well, this is frustration from Queensland now. They've made a number of errors themselves at the play the ball movement. Here trying to slow down New South Wales. What a pass by Steve Rapes to get it away. the other day. Wasn't he outrageous? Oh, yeah, took about blind. Yeah, he couldn't see the end of his nose. Not even if it was lit up with a beacon. A bacon? No wonder he had egg all over his face. But muffin? No, that's not his face. New South Wales getting five penalties to two so far in this match. And they're in possession about 25 metres out from the Queensland line. Tony Durkin. I don't know what they've got to complain about, the New South Wales supporters. They want the grasshopper back, but they're in front, as you said, Bill, 5-2 in the penalties. All right, here they go, trying to get a bit of action going now. That's Eddinghausen going to be pulled down. But they're keeping up the pressure again. Dummy half swings it away. This is Daly. Back onto his feet fairly quickly. And eventually put down on the tackle. Final tackle. What will the Lions do with it? It's played forward over there by Daly, but it's going to be a penalty, Queensland. Let's have a look at it not uh, handling the ball in the ruck perhaps let's have a look at it daily there touches it plays it to the side there's no reason you can't do that if anything he wasn't standing square on but certainly a relief for queensland melbourne and Gaffine's touch that's a good kick it's midway between the quarter and halfway lolly lewis and arthur beaton looking on knowing that this queensland team are under a fair amount of pressure out there well they got five minutes bill to uh, get some points on the board in this first half six nil new south Wales could easily have been a lot further in front than that but queensland need a bit of attacking ball to be able to do something to use that uh, brilliant back line well here's fatty Wharton trying to do that he gets just inside new south wales territory loses the ball but a penalty taken out of his hands by mcguire but a penalty queensland the crowd not happy with it but uh there's Wharton being uh Certainly having the ball stolen from him, ripped from him by Maguire. And a chance now for the Maroons. Benny Elias had a bit to say to referee Manson on that occasion. What he'd be asking here, Bill, is just when can you and when can't you steal the ball? Normally it is if the tackle has not been affected. And the New South Wales referees, at least the interpretation is you can uh, at least attempt to steal the ball. Oh, it's probably Benny being an assistant to the referee as he normally is. So there's another big tackle coming in. Silly. Touch judge coming and he took a while to make up his mind. Well, it could be interesting this because Queensland are in possession. It would suggest that the penalty will go to New South Wales. Let's have a look at it. There was a punch by uh, Bella. That is really stupid when you're in possession. And a report now, the touch judge to uh, David Manson right in front of Tony Durkin. How'd you see it, Tony? Oh, certainly Ben Eli uh, uh, Martin Bella was the man at fault there. David Gillespie put a big hit on Martin Bella. Obviously said something to them as they went to the ground and Bella retaliated with a left hook. Ridiculous. Dumb. So he's been spoken to now by referee Manson, Fatty Borton and uh, Elias there clapping and saying, we've got it, fellas. So the penalty to New South Wales, 30 metres out from their own line. Three minutes remaining to the half-time break and they have a lead of six points to nil. Queensland must hang on for dear life here now. Six nil is retrievable. They cannot let New South Wales in to extend uh, their lead. So it's Andrew Eddinghausen to kick the touch. 
And it's going to find it just inside Queensland territory. So we'll wait for the play to go on from there. This is Warford working across field. That is going to be put to the ground over there. Bullock and Smith sliding it underneath. Elias away from dummy half. Going to be juggled a little bit over there by Roberts. But they keep it going. That's Ricky Stewart. Ten metres inside Brisbane or Queensland Territory. He's got that unbelievable ability to unload, Bill, hasn't he? Oh, there's Bradley Clyde. Oh. That looked a bit sus to me. He's sort of shuffled it forward there to him. However, Elias with it. He'll send it outside then to Maguire. He keeps it going. Back to Elias. Still going. Still going as Elias. He's 20 metres out from the Queensland line. Good work for the New South Wales captain. From the play of the ball. They keep it going with Stewart outside to Daly. Swing it away to Wishart. Wishart takes it on the fly, but it's smacked into the ground and he's in the touch. Good defence, Queensland. Whilst they've made a number of errors in attack, uh, Queensland, their defence has been desperate. They'll need all the desperation they can get. There's Meninga assisting. Wishart knocked in the touch. Staines, 14 tackles. Fullerton Smith, 13. Gillespie, 14. They're the top tackle counts in the first half of this match. One and a half minutes to go. So the Maroons in possession and will need to just run it out and hang on to it and take it up from here that's Bob Linder playing forward Linder wrapped up though so now running it away is Hagen but oh, a big tackle in over the top that was Gillespie again so he can rack up 15 tackles for him Langer to Meninga little kick through came off a New South Wales player picked up by Walford Walford decides to run it out up the centre. Just on a minute to go in this first half. Daly's up as Dummy Hart. Daly takes it. Elias. There's the kick through. And this one's got a fine touch. Ten metres out from the Queensland line. Well, that's not what Benny wanted. The shake of the head says it all. He wanted the kick there for what Wishart. Wishart was flying through and it could have been an interesting chase. But he doesn't get the bounce he was looking for. It goes into touch. It'll be loose head and feet. Queensland with only 30 seconds to go in this uh, first half. Elias will look for a tight head if possible. Unbelievable tactics uh, on the second tackle, Bill. Yes, my word it is. Particularly when they, they were on the attack and uh, keep that pressure up. Coming into the halftime break, give it everything you've got. There's uh, players out there that both uh, packs took a little while to, to get over to that mark, and I don't blame them. They'll be looking for this break, which comes up in 10 seconds from now. So the New South Wales lead is six points to nil, coming into the halftime break. And a Queensland team who've done an enormous amount of defence out there. This is Bella. Bella to the quarter line. There's the hooter. And that brings us up to a sensational 40 minutes of play. And New South Wales go to the break. A lead here at the Sydney Football Stadium of six points to nil. Well, his time on in the second half. Michael O'Connor drives the ball deep towards the southern end of the football stadium. It's taken by Gary Belcher. First touch of the football in the second half for Les Kiss. And Bradley Clyde wrestles him back another two or three metres. Steve Wall is a dummy half. And Big Mal Meninga takes it upfield. Just short of the quarter line. Wall is again a dummy half. Away for Bella. And that's a good run by Bella. Takes play past the quarter line. Walters again, looking for the runner in Staines, cut him out and gave it to Fulton Smith, but the Queenslanders lost two or three metres in that play. Four tackles gone in this set. Meninga across to his camera teammate Gary Belcher into open space. Now he'll put the kick downfield. He'll put it across towards the wing of Rod Wishart. The chases are up there for Queensland, but Wishart got away from Langer and also from Fulton Smith. Now Stewart can be dangerous from the situation. Got the pass away. Heading houses spill the football. Maybe that's the uh, stroke of fortune that Queensland were looking for so early in this first half. Well, Second fortune, half. certainly a great tackle it was. And Stephen Waller was the man who uh, pulled off the tackle. And Bobby Lindner takes the play 33 metres out from the New South Wales line. Their back's well offside. Referee Manson must spot that soon. As they work it up towards the attacking quarter. Just a minute and a half gone in the second half. Now Hagen, long ball across field. One of the rare touches for Dale Shearer. He's been well and truly marked out there tonight. A danger man from broken players, Dale Shearer. Now they get it away for Dan Staines. Tourist to New Zealand. Last year after an outstanding series. Only played in two of the matches, but played superbly. Now Langer, hoisted high in the air. Across field, the chase is on by Queensland. Shearer knocked it back, it's been knocked forward. 
but the Queenslanders have been ruled inside the five. Yeah, in front of uh, Alan Langer, Dale Shearer disagreeing with it. He felt he stayed behind Alan Langer. Alan Langer actually did quite a bit of running, but it's always difficult for a referee to adjudicate on that one when it's hooked across the back of the run. So New South Wales with the chance to drive it outside their quarter through their fullback, Andrew Eddinghausen. Who really, David, has handled uh, the fullback role pretty well tonight in this, uh, what they call the quarter to fly here at State of Origin, but he has had a wealth of experience in his early days with Cronulla and also with Leeds in the English Championship. Yes, and uh, Queensland have not placed a lot of pressure on him, so he's had a fairly uh, dream run, and as you say, he's had a reasonable amount of experience. Ricky Stewart tonight making his Origin debut. Trying to become the 38th dual international for Australia. The last one was Michael O'Connor. There's some tremendous defence. That's inspiring stuff by Bob Lindner. Actually, it's been a good start for the uh, Queenslanders here. Bradley Clyde, solid defence here. I agree with you, Billy. They needed to start confidently, and they have. I'd say that Artie Beetson and Wally Lewis has given them an earful uh, at half-time. The kicking game of Ricky Stewart will play a prominent role in the second half. Juggled by Gary Belcher. Kept it under control all the time, though, and runs it back towards halfway. But the chase is on by Michael O'Connor. Good defence by the Manly three-quarter. Les Kiss decides to give it a run. Well, Wally, what was the feeling like in the dressing room uh, with the Queenslanders at halftime? Well, they were a little bit quiet, David. Obviously, they were a little bit shell-shocked, and I think more than anything, they were a bit disappointed in their own performance. They knew that the, uh, the big thing that we were missing, of course, was ball security, and we didn't have a very good chasing game out of the market position. It's something that uh, we've got to work on, otherwise we're going to be in big trouble because they just made too many clean breaks from around about the marker area which were, certainly weren't uh, kept in check at all. Well we'll come back to you in a moment because McIndoe puts it high in the air across towards uh, Eddinghausen. He's been taken out, lost. Players ruled on side. It's a Queensland ball but the referee will rule the knock on. It'll be loose head and feet to New South Wales. Here it comes again in replay. The chase was always there. It was Hagen that came through. It's a Queensland loose head and feed. The knock-on rule against New South Wales. It goes across to Hagen. And now to Belcher, running wide. It's away with Shearer. Shearer got the, tried to get the pass away, but the New South Wales defence was there. Now it goes with Fulton Smith. Now Bobby Lindner it is and takes it over the quarter line. And takes another four or five metres. Got the pass out the back door. Dan Staines taken in the tackle. Hagen got the pass away to Les Kiss. Kiss lost yardage, got it to Fulton Smith, the lane, and Queensland on the attack. Stepping run by Shearer through the dummy. Here's a chance. The ball's been knocked back, six to go. Bella got the pass away, Staines. And play by Queensland. Now they move it. Taken up by him. Paul Borton. Queensland line deep in attack. Bella goes blind. It goes open to Langer. It goes to Hagen. Now to Meninga. No, he holds onto the ball. Turn it back in field. Les Kiss coming in from the right wing. They're a little bit thin on the left. New South Wales. Queensland move it that way through Bella. Straightened it well. Got the pass. Fullerton Smith taken in the tackle. Now they move Langer. The little kick through. Beautifully fielded. Ricky Stewart tidies it up. Well, there's disappointment from Wally Lewis. He realised that was an opportunity there for Queensland. They really needed to get that ball into the in-goal area. Wishart has lost it, but yeah. a penalty. Well, they were about to sweep onto attack on this left-hand side, but the penalty will relieve pressure on New South Wales. Let's watch it. There's the raking action. Uh, David Manson has been consistent. That's a penalty, one to each side. So we've had six minutes of play gone in the second half. There's the penalties, 8-4 in favour of New South Wales. And no change to the half-time scoreline that saw New South Wales lead by 6-0. to nil. A well, try to McGaw and a sensational conversion by Michael O'Connor. Six minutes of the second half, we've seen more attack from Queensland in that passage of play than in the whole match. And pressure from Queensland too. They've certainly gone up a gear. Wally Lewis cheering on. Dan Staines had moved in quickly, forcing errors from New South Wales. Well, the whole pack got together then and said, OK, this is the break we wanted. Let's see what they can do with the Queensland. The ball fed by Langer, straight into the second row. Lindner off the back of the scrub. And the battle of the halfbacks continues there with Stewart and Langer. Now Lindner straightens it up beautifully, Bobby Lindner. Unloaded it to Langer. Can they move it quickly? It goes to Fulton Smith. Then to Hagen. The gap was there. It's turned back beautifully. Meninga taken in the tackle. 13 metres out from the New South Wales line. 
Les Kiss goes to Don Sir Wallace to Dummy Hart. He'll get it across to Dan Staines. Bullock's his way, he's turned it over. It's Bradley Clyde with the ball for New South Wales. And the crowd love that. New South Wales trying to work it out through O'Connor, but Langer is there and so too is Dan Staines. A lot of pressure now in Queensland to try and keep New South Wales down at this end of the ground. They've got plenty of options in the kicking department, New South Wales, and they've used it to good effect. Good ball movement by the Blues. Oh, that's the mistake. Blues on the ground, it's a Queensland ball. Good so the pressure's David are starting to come back on New South Wales. Yeah, they're forcing errors on New South Wales because they're the ones being forced to play inside their own territory. Kick early! And uh, interference on Gary Belcher. Has the referee spotted it? He hasn't. And the ball is run out of the in-goal area by Andrew Eddinghouse. Cannot understand the tactic of Les Kiss there, kicking on about the second tackle. And uh, there was plenty of opportunities. Was it Michael Hagen who put the kick in? Yeah. And his officer number, Larry, uh, Laurie Daly, takes play over the quarter line as the cheers go up for the Blues again. And Ricky Stewart drives it. It's a clever kick. Look at the chase by Elias. Back goes our Gary Belcher. He'll feel it just outside his own goal line and that is a magnificent chase by the New South Wales captain. Yeah, captain's knocked that from Elias, realising he needed to turn the game around and get Queensland down the other end. He chased hard and did the job. Well, it's the first time the Blues have been down that end of the ground since the kickoff, and I think Benny was frustrated how much time they were spending inside their own defensive area. So the pressure now on New South Wales on Queensland now to work it outside that danger area, their own quarter line. This has been a frantic pace in the opening round of the State of Origin series for 1990. New South Wales hell-bent on breaking this winning sequence that so far stands at eight in a row for Queensland. There's the turnover that could be vital. Laurie oh, Daly, he's called it back. A no he's no called try. It back. He's called it back. He's David. called for a knock-on, and it could be a very controversial one. Laurie Daly does not believe he knocked it on. The ball came out of the hands of Wally Fullerton-Smith. Let's have a look at it. Bellet passes back to Alan Langer here. There's the pass back to Langer. He searches out for Fulton Smith. Now, Fulton Smith comes to the line, and there's the pass. Well, he did. I reckon it did come off Laurie Daly's arm. I'd say the referee is spot on, and Daly scoots away to no avail. Queensland breathe another sigh of relief. And David Manson does not endear himself to 40,000 screaming Blues fans here at the Sydney Football Stadium. He's given the loose head to uh, New South Wales. I can't believe it. If Laurie Daly has knocked the football on, that should have been a loose head and feed to Queensland. That's inexplicable, that one. Well, to me, if that's the situation, that's a dumb penalty. And Danny's oh, And there's a punch-up as well. Frustration's coming now. Players come to basically break it up. Absolutely dumb stuff by Queensland. And it's still going on. Benny Elias is in there. This is dreadful stuff. The penalty has gone to New South Wales, right in front of the sticks the initial infringement but why would he do it David they've just got a, a biggest let off of all time they've had the try disallowed and now they've given New South Wales a certain two points so I agree Porto and we've seen recently in a number of matches provocation players uh, retaliating players frustrated the penalty has gone to New South Wales this could give them the buffer they're looking for they lead by at the moment by six points to nil Yes, an eight, uh, an eight point advantage, of course, is going to be here. It is again. He could go for that. It's a definite rapid killer from Danny Staines. Dan Staines came right over the top there. The ball was thrown up then at, uh, at Staines. It's just been showing Bill on the big scoreboard here, too. <laughs> and the whole blue is being replayed on the big scoreboard. Well, I noticed David Manson isn't looking up at it. So that's <laughs> something, I guess. 41,235, a new ground record here tonight at the Sydney Football Stadium, and they've been treated to some unbelievable action. We can do without this, though. Well, here's referee Manson coming across, and uh, this will be a chance now for Mick O'Connor. 41,235, there's the penalty. And it is a new ground record because uh, they have introduced some new seating here at the uh, Sydney Football Stadium. There's been sellout crowds here before, they have introduced new seating now that uh, has increased the capacity of the ground. So that'll be Michael O'Connor. And a dead set two-pointer coming up for him. And uh, that's certainly something that Queensland can do with that. Yeah, this is right in front. There's the shot from behind the goalpost. Michael O'Connor has these sort of kicks for breakfast. There should be no problem for him to extend the lead to eight points to nil. Well, if he has a good breakfast over there, he's had a bad night's sleep. 
As he's kicked uh, like the chance of saving it. No, I think uh, this is bread and butter here for uh, Michael O'Connor. He's kicked one from two at the moment. So here he is, lining up with it now. New South Wales, six to nil. New South Wales, eight to nil. So it goes with Michael O'Connor and play will come back to the halfway mark. And as you can see, that buffer is uh, David Wright said before of eight points. And this crowd really starting to get behind the New South Wales team now. Well, they might, Bill. They have uh, basically been in control for the majority of this match. Queensland had a glimmer of hope early minutes of the second half when they had some good attack ball. I'll need to go searching for it again. Another downtowner here from Ricky Stewart. And Gary Belcher runs back again, looks around. There's plenty of sky blue in front of him. But he flicks it back inside. Les Kiss coming up with it. And he's got to be put down about 20 metres out from his own line. Well, thing Queensland can do is panic in a situation like this day. New South Wales are fired up but New Queensland must not give away opportunities or possession in this part of the field. Just under 27 minutes remaining in the match. New South Wales lead is 8 points to nil. Queensland still camped down inside their own quarter. But how would you like to be calling shots out there? There's no way the players can hear calls tonight. No, you wouldn't hear a thing. Here's Alan Langer. They keep it going. This is better. Walters. Well, there's 10 metres short of the halfway mark, talking about noise, Tony Durkin, you know what it's like down there, how's it, how is it? Well, they haven't shut up, Bill, from the very first whistle, and of course, the further New South Wales gets in front, the more noise they make, but they certainly have enjoyed this uh, game tonight, there's no doubt about that. Yeah, well, you said they didn't shut up after the first whistle, I don't think they'll shut up after the full-time whistle either, if this continues. Outside a mile, Elias. Here's a kick through now by Gary Belcher. Back there is Eddinghausen. He'll run it out to the quarter. And is put down over there by Bobby Lindner. He's had a great game, Lindner. Yes, he's really lifted up to it. This is Ricky Walford. Tackle by Lindner. Well, Lindner grabbed him first up, but finished off on the tackle of Walters. So away from dummy half, O'Connor. Mark McGaw, after he put a good tackle on Dale Shue a little while ago, slow to get back in the action. So taking it up over there is David Gillespie. Elias to dummy half. The New South Wales lead is eight points to nil. The kick downfield again by Stewart. And it's going to be taken by Alan McIndoe. McIndoe decides to run it out. He said, I'll test out this wish out fellow. And he puts him down. So the dummy half Hagen. Belcher with a long one across field. It's going to be taken by O'Connor. He gets it to Wolf and he loses it. Another one bombs. Another one gone, you're right. New South Wales have had heaps of opportunities. Around about five now. That one from a drop ball. Queensland starting to panic a bit, throwing those long passes. I'd say the ball is going to be forward to Walford anyway. And knocks it on. And unlike it to feed, they're just inside the Queensland quarter. As soon as uh, Belcher let go of that pass, it was against the head stations. They've got it, have they? They've lost it to the back Offside. of the side. Well, Ricky Stewart definitely knocked it on, so it should be a uh, loose head and feed to Queensland again. So, just on that quarter line, 24 and a half minutes remaining. Langer gets it this time, Surinam's warming up, that's Hagen. Hagen, well wrapped up, coming it over the top, Laurie Daly. And the tackler underneath that time was Bruce McGuire. So Tony Durkin down on the touchline. There's a couple of players warming up. Lazarus, another one, eh? Oh, aren't they big fellas too? Paul Sierran and uh, Glenn Lazarus warming up in the tunnel for New South Wales. That's a pretty awesome thought for Queensland. 212 kilos, Bill. <laughs> Heavy weights to come on. <laughs> Leave me out. And it's good coaching by Gibson too. He knows his side's got the upper hand. He's going to go for the killer punch now. But Queensland are fighting back. Yamaninga yeah, gets it outside. That's Dale Shearer. Warford comes in from the wing. He gets it back to kiss on the uh, bounce. He sets out across field, he's still going. He's not going terribly much forward, but eventually put down eight metres short of halfway. It is the final tackle, so Wallace is up as dummy half. He swings it away to Langer. They decide to run it at this stage. Keeping it going wide up, that's Belcher. Kicks it, bounces off a couple of New South Wales players, then off a Queensland player. Oh, God, he's lost it. And Queensland end up with it again. This is Alan Langer. Well, gee, they've made some mistakes, um, particularly in stry scoring opportunities. There's the changeover for the new players. Bella gets it outside. This is Hagen running around. Not quite sure where to go. And eventually tackled by Roach. I think Artie Beecham's got to go with some fresh players. And uh, I think Jack Gibson's beat him to the punch. This is Martin Bella taken up there by Maguire. Trevor Gilmeister warming up down to the touchline. Not surprised. Maguire's there again to get Walters. He edges his way into side New South Wales territory. But only just. 
Wharton to, La to uh, Langer. Langer doubles around, but is wrapped up once again by that solid New South Wales defence. Final tackle coming up. So back it goes to Belcher. He swings it away over there to Meninga. There's the kick by the centre. Downfield to Eddinghausen. Eddinghausen will run it out. A big long pass coming across over here to Wishart. Wishart starts to stretch out, but a nice tackle coming in underneath by McIndoe. New South Wales on the attack again. Eddinghausen sending it away over to Bradley Clive, but the Queensland defence coming in. Staines leading the way. And eventually uh, finished up over the top by Walters. Laurie Daly wrapped up midway between the quarter and halfway. Still in New South Wales territory. Elias gets it outside to Roberts. Roberts to a couple of metres short of halfway. Two Tony fresh Durkin. reserves trying to get on. Here's Tony Durkin. Two front rowers will be coming off for New South Wales. Steve Roach and Ian Roberts being replaced by Sirenan and Lazarus. Gary Belcher takes it back there from the kickoff. He's working across field. He can't get away from Elias. Big tackle by the New South Wales captain. And Queensland still down, it's well down inside their own quarter. Dummy half is Walters. He'll set up like a bullet and Smith. Working up towards the quarter line. There are the reserves waiting to go. Lazarus and Sirenan. Handling errors 12 by New South Wales and 11 by Queensland. 21, just over 21 minutes remaining in this match. Langer swings it away. This is Lynn Nahi Dummies. Sends it back inside, picked up by Shearer, juggled it well, but McGuire got him. Final tackle. Lining up his dummy half, Hagen gets it away to Langer. Langer will kick it downfield. Eddinghausen going back, 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 and eventually picks it up close to his own line. Queensland slow to chase. Here's Alan Langer coming up at Eddinghausen, and got him. Meninga from the other side, I know which one I want to hit into. It's a sandwich. And that's Walford, he's tackled, Langer the man again. And Eddinghausen was the meat of the sandwich, and not too good either. <laughs> but that's where most of the damage would have come from. There's uh, the tackle of Dale Shearer coming in. There's Eddinghausen, and he's in quite a bit of trouble. So from the play, the ball, Elias gets it outside to Roach. He still hasn't left the field. Those replacements waiting, waiting. That's Roach getting it up another couple of metres. He'll play it to Elias. Elias back over there to Stewart. Stewart in turn across to Gillespie. Gillespie wrapped up. Tackler once again. In underneath is Alan Langer. Final tackle. And away to Ricky Stewart. There she goes. Cross field. Gillespie down injured as well, so that may be a revamp in Jenkins is thinking now. Right oh now here it comes out to Belcher. Belcher got it away from him from Kiss. He's gonna be tackled by Bradley Clyde though. They've chased the ball very well tonight, New South Wales. And Queensland have really had to work to get it away from down their own quarter. Back inside is Hagen. He works across field, looking for a gap. Now sends it over the top. It's over the top of everyone. It's in the touch. Second time Queensland in the match have been looking for opportunities on the outside. The pass was a wide one. Tony Dirk and the changes as we look at this in replay. This is the pass that went over the top. The Queensland movement breaks down and uh, three replacements coming on, Tony. The two New South Wales players, Lazarus and Sirenan, will, yet be, will still be coming on for the two props, Roach and uh, also Ian Roberts and Wally Fulton Smith's off in the Queensland side. He's been replaced by Trevor Gilmerston. Well, David Gillespie will go up to uh, prop with Lazarus. And the last time Steve Roach was replaced here was in the grand final last year and he wasn't a happy man, but he's done the job tonight, but he certainly hates being replaced. Well, he was also in front for Balmain in the grand final, Fordo, and they, uh, Canberra came back to win it. There's McGaw. He's had a good game tonight. Well, with Gillespie going up into the front row, that's where he's played the last four matches with Canterbury Bankstown in the Premiership. And he's done that very, very effectively with Canterbury up near the top of that uh, Premiership ladder. So now Wishart will go into dummy half, and the Queensland defence will be tested here. First touch, taken upfield by uh, Big Glenn Lazarus. Tasted grand final victory here last year. Long pass, the two Canberra players, Stewart and Daly. And a ball drop down. And he knocked it on as he tried to pick it up. Another opportunity it could have been. Yeah, this was a try, it had written it all over it. Meninga just had to grab that one cleanly, couldn't handle, to knock on by Queensland, should be loose head and feed New South Wales. Touch judge on, on the far side. And the referee David Manson, who is he going to call out? He's calling out the two centres, Shearer and McGaw. 
who have had a running little battle, Tony Durkin, right throughout this football match. They certainly have, uh, Ford I don't think there was too much in this, just a scuffle between two players, really wanting uh, their sides to win tonight. I think it'll just be a very general caution to both players and on with the game. Yeah, I think the touch judge is overreacting a bit here. Maybe Mum's in Townsville or somewhere, but uh, not much need to come on here. Well, David uh, Manson will take no action. The scrum will pack down. It's midway between the half and the 22. Yes, I remember my first State of Origin match. Even before the kickoff, I had the cold shakes. But once I'd taken a few quarter poundings, I settled in and lined myself up for a few fries. So, another mistake by Queensland. Here's a chance for the Blues, but it's tidied up by Les Kiss, who brings it back. Six more to go. Kiss into open space. Taken in the tackle by Elias. Centre field. Tony Durkin, another change. Number 15, Kevin Walters. He'll be the uh, third, uh, Walters, uh, or the second tonight. The third, of course, to play State of Origin football on for Mick Hagan. Yes, he made his debut in the third match last year as a replacement. And uh, Kevin and Sandra Walters, with Kevin's fiance Kim Place, are sitting in the grandstand tonight at the Sydney Football Stadium, travelling down from Ipswich. And Steve made the debut in the hooking role tonight with injured brother Kerrod not being able to take his place in the side. So very much the Walters Ipswich connection in this Queensland side. Dan Staines, five metres short of the 22. Great running by Staines on that occasion. 16 minutes remain. There's the kick by Langer. Over the top, the chase is on. Walford did it well. Queensland still with a chance to put some defensive pressure on here. Got him right in the pocket. There's the tackles. Miss tackles. Queensland 22. New South Wales 7. Well, they did so much work on the tackling bags at Brush Cutters Bay yesterday. It was one thing that the team manager, Dick Turner, told me that they really worked overtime. I wonder whether it's the case, David, or they left it on the training paddock. Well, they may have done for it, but I think you've got to give New South Wales a lot of credit. They've spread the ball pretty well. They've made it hard for Queensland to get an easy mark, and uh, they played the game at a very fast pace. So Lazarus takes it beyond the quarter line on the final tackle. And as I feared, before the kickoff, the superior kicking game of New South Wales has been a telling factor how much they miss Wally Lewis out there tonight. That's it, Porto. Uh, not only the New South Wales kicking game has been uh, superior, but Queensland have lacked in that department as well. Now Meninga. 24 metres out from his own goal line. And I suppose we now must be looking at the prospect of a first in state of origin football. Well, not really, but I was talking about whether they've been held trialists. They were in fact held trialists in the first game in 1985 when Michael O'Connor scored all the points for New South Wales. Two tries and five goals. 18 points to two on that occasion. And the only time that Queensland have failed across New South Wales line in a state of origin game. And they've got 14 minutes to correct that. A pass for McIndoe. Can he do it? It's up towards the halfway. Superb defence by Mark McGaw. He took both boots off. A copybook tackle in anyone's language. Bootlay stuck. There's the kick downfield. And it's Eddinghausen who took a heavy knock before. Would he be reluctant to run it up? He's not. He got around Meninga. And Tony Durkin, another change happening. Kevin Walters still can't get on this field. Gary Coyne, also from Ipswich originally, he'll be replacing the Queensland skipper, Paul Vorton. So New South Wales, with 14 minutes of play, remaining in the second half. Lead by 8-0. They led by 6-0 at halftime. And a stupid penalty by uh, Queensland early in that second half cost them dearly. That's loose on the ground. That's been knocked on by New South Wales. Well, I thought it may have been touched in flight by Queensland. Some of the crowd disagreeing. Let's have a look at it. The pass up, knocked there initially by Hagen, also knocked by Bradley Clyde. Interesting to see who uh, David Manson decides should have loose head and feet. Well, the two little halfbacks having a little battle there. There's Paul Bort. Replace the captain of the Queensland side. So I'd say Meninga probably will assume that role now. Langer. Are we for... Uh, Dropped by Kevin Walters on his first touch. Fatal mistake and a coach's nightmare. 
Well, there's Queensland have made some uh, fundamental errors whenever they've had a chance to put some concerted pressure. Now, Bradley Clyde, Kevin Walters took a very, very heavy knock at Tony Durkin. It's a Disneyland stuff. Absolutely does not know where he is, Kevin Walters. First touch of the ball, and he certainly is in Disneyland. And New South Wales take it five metres beyond the halfway line. Walters, the shake of the head. And Sirenan, good ploy by Gibson to bring him on at this stage of the game. Elias, he's broken through one. He's lost the football, and it's dived on by Dale Shearer. Still loose on the ground, tidied up by Les Kitts. Play on. And Bradley Clyde and Sirenan. In fact, it was Daly and Sirenan. Langer out of dummy half. Very few breaks made by Queensland, which is a credit to this New South Wales defence. Particularly with the tries that were scored against them last year in that series, David. A record score in the last game. Well, Queensland dictated play in last year's series, but New South Wales very determined in this one. They have been the better side. Queensland have made too many errors. Well, it's going to set up an absolutely magnificent series because Game 2 is in Melbourne. And then what could be a decider at Lang Park in Game number 3. It's such a crucial series this year with the kangaroo tour hanging on at the end of it. And I remember in 1986, David, the last kangaroo tour year, a clean sweep to uh, the New South Wales side, and they in fact then dominated the representation of that touring party. And that will happen, New South Wales leading 8-0. I think Queensland have tried to kick short far too often in uh, tonight's game. New South Wales have played good sweeping roles, and uh, Queensland have found another way to surrender possession with short kicking. Well, New South Wales, trying to break the Queensland dominance of those games that are right. This is a superb kick. Oh, it's going to go dead in goal. But there's a difference in the tactics. New South Wales have been happy just to uh, kick deep. Admittedly, they've got the eight points to nil lead, so they can uh, just keep Queensland under pressure. But even uh, prior to having that lead, Queensland, I think, uh, tactically kicked too, uh, short too often. Every picture tells a story. The team manager, Dick Turner, and Wally Lewis. Interesting, uh, Billy that uh, Dick Turner was complaining that uh, they hadn't made his room up the room at uh, one of the motels here in Sydney and that uh, the ball he had at Old Tosser Turner was complaining he hadn't, hadn't had new shampoo in his room. Yeah, I don't know what's happening. I think he congregates must have drunk it or something. Tosser would be about <laughs> half a bottle a year, wouldn't it? <laughs> well, yeah, no, you'd be able to give us a good indication. <laughs> Gary Coyne takes it over the halfway line. Queensland trail by 8-0. to nil. It goes across to Walters, then to Meninga. Meninga straightens upfield. And the big man takes it 10 metres inside New South Wales into the ground. New South Wales, 57 possessions in the second half. Queensland, 80, but they haven't turned that into points. Quick ball movement. It goes across field. Now Lindner, back for McIndoe, back for Bella. Bella through the pass across field. Wallace, here's a break. But good defence, Daly Langer. He's lost the football. And Bella's at the last chance for Queensland. Well, well, 10 minutes to go, maybe not, Porto. There's the uh, attempted run by uh, Walters. I felt he may have gone a, gone a touch too far, although he ultimately did get his hands free. Alan Langer probably should have held it. Ricky Stewart to feed the scrum, 20 metres out from the New South Wales line. And it's nine and a half minutes to go in the match. New South Wales with that lead of eight points to nil. That's Laurie Daly, wrapped up there by Walters. Only half waiting there is McGaw to Bradley Klein. A well-drilled New South Wales team tonight here, David. Yeah, they've been very enthusiastic, Bill. They had a number of opportunities in the first half, couldn't capitalise, but finally got their chance late in the first half. OK, down there on the grandstand is um, Wally Lewis. Walter, uh, things don't look too good out there. No, it's certainly not looking very encouraging at all, mate, for, uh, for Queensland. It's getting to that stage of the game now with only nine minutes left where we've got to start taking a few chances but we've got to have, make sure that everybody's involved in the move and we've got to have maximum support we possibly can from every time we run the football. We've got to try and uh, obviously get the ball a little bit wide and attack just on the edge of their flanks because their forward pack, at the, old, uh, the New South Wales forward pack, hasn't uh, budged one inch all night long. They've certainly uh, uh, shut us down a fair bit and haven't, us, haven't allowed us uh, one little bit of room to move in defence. Wally, uh, would you go along with the fact New South Wales have been um, a pretty well organised outfit out there tonight? Well, they certainly are, Billy. I mean, uh, the, the thing that's won them the, the game for them, or is winning them the game so far, 
is their defensive pattern. They're spread right across the football field, and every time that our forwards take us up, we have a deep back line, but uh, it, it's looking that uh, well drilled, their defensive unit, that our guys just don't have anywhere to run. Oh, well, even if they get away with it tonight, Walter, there's still a couple more to go, isn't there? Well, there certainly is, but the pressure's really going to be on us from now on uh, in, in the remaining two games, should they win this one, and it certainly looks as though they're, uh, they're going to do that. But uh, we're going to have to pick our act up. We've uh, let ourselves down in quite a few areas tonight. All right, thanks, Wally Lewis. So that's Andrew Eddinghausen with a dart, 25 metres out from his own line. Away from dumbing half his wish out. And uh, seven and a half minutes remaining in the match. That's Lazarus. Dumbing half coming up is Betty Elias. And uh, there were two things that uh, most people were talking about coming into this match, David Wright. One would be Benny Elias, uh, the danger man from dumbing half, and the other the kicking of Ricky Stewart. They both come out. Yeah, you're right, Bill. Benny Elias has played well. New South Wales have been keen. That's Bradley Clyde. Tackle by Alan Langer. Uh, Mal Meninga came crashing in over the top, and he's hurt his knee. He's down at the moment. Ricky Stewart going to get away to Daly. Daly decides to put it up. It's a very, very high one. They're coming at it in all directions. Belcher! Belcher took it brilliantly. Got it away over there to Shearer. Shearer going to be knocked over. Got up, started to go. He went another. He's still going. <laughs> Eventually wrapped up. Midway between the quarter and halfway down in Queensland territory. What a take from Belcher. So now it's Bobby Lindner. Yeah, they were, they were putting a pressure. They were flying through on top of him. Mal Meninga still in trouble. Two trainers attending to him. A knee injury. So back inside. Alan Langer getting it away then to Stage. So Coyne. And that crunching defence of New South Wales still to the fore. Walters. There's, there's Mal Meninga being assisted uh, from the field. So that's all um, Queensland's reserves are out there, aren't they? Yeah, no, we've still got Mark Coyne to go here. Yeah. Just as well. Well, he, he's waiting to go on, Tony. Mark Coyne is going on. It looks as though Meninga will be coming off, Bill. Mark Coyne in jersey number 14. Of course, no relation to Gary Coyne, who's already out there for Queensland. But it does appear as though the big fella might be staying on. No, he's coming off now. Well, I suppose if there's any doubt about him, uh, take him off and give him the chance to recover a little bit. There's young Mark Coyne, makes his debut for Queensland. And what a chance he would have uh, if he could pull... Uh, Maybe a uh, last-minute try out. There's five and a half minutes to go. Queens, they need possession. They need a runaway. Benny Elias, the dummy half. Back over there to Surinan. Surinan wrapped up right over halfway mark. Dummy half Elias again. There's the kick through. Touch. Gary Belcher back there. But he's going to be wrapped up. Graham Lyons is on the field now for Wishart. So they're giving the ball a run. And why not? I suppose Jack Gibson might as well give uh, a couple of these players the, the opportunity to get used to this atmosphere. Yes, Bill, he'll be relying on a squad again uh, in three weeks' time in uh, in Melbourne. And uh, he'd like nothing more than to uh, give a couple of these young fellows a, a look at state of origin football. So the defence coming in once again. That's Lazarus. And also Sirin and the two replacement players. Working across field over there is Coyne. It's Gary Coyne, of course. <laughs> So Wallace from dummy half to Alan Langer. Little kick through, got to be taken by Eddinghausen. Slammed to the ground right on the halfway mark. Four and a half minutes remaining. Walford still on the halfway. Dummy half Elias. He's knocked over by Langer but didn't get the pass away. Taken back over there by Gillespie. Gillespie to 10 metres inside Queensland Territory, dummy half McGaw. He's had a great game, uh, Dave Gillespie. Clyde, thrown to the ground though. Tackler coming up over there was Kevin Walters. Seems to have recovered, Tony. He seems OK. In fact, he's done two tackles in a row, young Kevin Walters, and he really is getting into his work out there. Unfortunately, though, I think it's a little too late. Here's a kick right across field, bouncing up high. Going to be taken by Coyne. And a penalty now, oh, hey, hey, hang on, a flash, Coyne, it was away. Yeah, premature there, David Manson in blowing the whistle. I don't think New South Wales held off. I think Coyne had ducked the tackle. And a chance there for Queensland. Coyne easily could have gone a long way. Eddinghausen was the only man who may have come across and covered a fence. Queensland, it has not been Queensland's night with only uh, three and a half minutes to go. They're down by eight points to nil. 
They have printed away a number of opportunities. The penalties have favoured New South Wales by 9-5. to five. Tony Durkin. Well, the last change in this match is being made, and little Jeff Toovey, who looks more like a school kid than a first-class rugby league player, is on for Ricky Stewart. You're not wrong, Tony. I saw him walking into the ground here tonight, and I thought he'd, he'd probably go to the kids' gate and get him for half price. He makes Alan Langer look like a grandfather. <laughs> Alfie won't like that. So just under three minutes remaining. And uh, New South Wales with a lead of eight points to nil. Alan Langer up there as dummy half. Swing it away to Walters. Tooby comes at him, he unloads it. That's Shearer. Tooby continues. And also into the tackle over there is Michael O'Connor. Oh, they swing it back. Staines ends up with it. This is Belcher. And McGaw comes at him. Shearer and finishes off the tackle. McGaw is the one that started him on the back pedal. Here's the final tackle. Alan Langer, rubber kicks through, but Tooby's back there. And he'll get possession for New South Wales. Alliance from Dummy Hart. I think that uh, last passage of play, Bill, uh, epitomises the urgency that New South Wales have shown tonight. They've been very keen to chase in to harass Queensland, to give that back line no opportunities. The times that New South Wales have beaten Queensland over the years, Queensland have normally gone in with a better back line on paper. New South Wales have been able to get up quickly and uh, keep them quiet. Daly! Daly steps inside beautifully. He's got Belcher to beat. He puts in a little kick. It's going to be a try. Devoid oh, staggered back there by Eddinghausen. Another six tackles. This will put on the pressure. From the play, the ball. Stopping for the line. Going to be a try, I'd say. It'll be Lazarus. Held up. Held up. Well, great effort from Queensland. We might say they haven't played well tonight, but let's face it, New South Wales have only scored one try. Queensland have fought it out to the end. They were desperate there. Dan Staines on the spot, and so was the referee in David Manson. To hold up Glenn Lazarus is no mean feat. 70 seconds of play remaining here at the Sydney Football Stadium. Queensland have kicked on 23 occasions in general play. New South Wales, 21. Daly's also had a good game. It was expected that Laurie Daly would be a thorn in the side of Queensland. His extra pace and strength has been very effective. Well, after some of the write-ups I've seen down here, David. They throw it over the top. Coming out this time to McIndoe. McIndoe trying to get away from Lyons. Knocked him off balance. Started going again and down he goes. Some of the write-ups of the Sydney papers as of late have had Laurie Daly as a combination between Batman, Superman and the whole group. <laughs> Yes, they've certainly wrapped him strongly, but uh, well, uh, when it all comes down, he has played well. There was a lot of pressure on him because of those wraps that they've put on him, and uh, he's played well tonight. Alan Langer comes up as the dummy half. Let's see how he goes up against the King in three weeks' time. So that's Coyne unloads at Wallace. They keep it going. Linda right over the top. Coyne, he gets it away outside. Then to Kiss. Kiss stepping back inside. This is good stuff. They keep it going. Working around with Staines. Staines looks for support. Walters. Walters is going to be put down 25 metres out. He's knocked it, knocked it on. on. Kevin Walters doesn't agree. There it is. Saliva. New South Wales have won the opening encounter of State of Origin. They've taken the match by eight points to nil after they lead by six points to nil at the half time. You can see there that New South Wales greatly lead. They had an eight-match losing streak. They've turned it around tonight by winning by eight points to nil. They had a point to prove. The coach had a point to prove in Jack Gibson. He suffered a 3-0 whitewash last year. New South Wales decided to go with him, but they decided to go with a selector's team this year. They picked a form team, a very good one, who managed one try and only one try against a Queensland side that didn't play particularly well. New South Wales certainly bond a few, but they finally got the ball across the line in the 31st minute of the first half. Mark McGaw it was, he finally got it across. But let's be frank here, New South Wales with a better team on the night. Really, Queensland seldom looked like scoring. New South Wales showed greater urgency. They deserve their win. But it is a three-match series. Queensland have a number of players can come back to bolster their side. They've got a lot of work to do to, to turn it around. But all in all, New South Wales can feel, feel very proud of their effort. Tony Durkins down there in centre field. Over to you, Tony. Scoreboard, but only one try. A lot about the Queensland performance to like. Yeah, the uh, desperation was there, Durko, but unfortunately we weren't real, uh, you know, we weren't real sharp in attack. Um, they uh, they had a lot of try scoring opportunities. I think we did well to hold them out for most of the uh, first half, but um, yeah, disappointing still, mate. It did scramble very well, Queensland. I think they had four tries that uh, went astray New South Wales in the first half. So your defence really was pretty spot on.
Yeah, the defence was good. Although um, we're a little bit disappointed around the middle of the ruck, I think, at half-time. We, we realised they were making a lot of yards. We were concentrating a little bit too much on their, uh, you know, their, their players out wide. But um, you know, to our credit, we came back and I thought we had a few sco try-scoring opportunities in the second half. And, uh, you know, who knows, if we had it got over the line, it might have been a different ball game. Gary, two weeks before the next game in Melbourne, what does Queensland do now to win that game? Well, probably uh, a tough I, game. You know, I think there's awesome. no problem with the, uh, the players that are in the side. It's just we've got to change our tactics a little bit. Well, from your point of view, I suppose you've got to go into that Blues dressing room tonight and congratulate your Canberra teammates. And, of course, you back up with a very important game against Balmain on Sunday. Yeah, we've got to uh, come together as teammates now, as you said, um, and try to go back to club football and try to, you know, put all of our concentration into that. It's pretty hard chopping and changing for, you know, over the next few weeks, but it's part of the game we have to do it. Belts, we really do appreciate you coming down to talk to, to, talk to us tonight. All the best on Sunday against Balmain and again in Melbourne in a fortnight. Yeah, thanks, mate. Back to you, Billy. And uh, it just soaked up their energy. So there it is, uh, Gary Belcher here at the Sydney Football Stadium happened. after New South Wales well, have taken out the match by eight points to nil. And uh, we'll have the Battle of the Match Awards coming stuff. up very Thanks shortly. Uh, but meanwhile, here's Tony Durkin back down there on the centre field and he's with Michael O'Connor now. Well, Michael, it's been a long time between drinks for New South Wales. Eight matches, in fact. A very solid performance tonight. Yeah, I thought so, Durko. I thought that it uh, wasn't, you know... If anything, I thought that the score probably flattered them a little bit. We had a lot of opportunities, which we squandered, particularly in the first half. And, uh, you know, I thought it was a good all-round performance. And uh, congratulations, New South Wales. Very, very eager, uh, New South Wales. Too eager in the first half? Well, I think so. I think that's what it was. We, uh, we, we were doing things a little bit uh, a little bit too quickly. And, uh, mind you, Queensland defended well. Uh, you can't take that away from them. Their last-ditch defence and cover defence was first class. OK, Mick, thanks for your time. We'll let you get to the celebration. Thanks, Dirk. Okay,